from outer news to inner news. We live in a world where we are bombarded today by so much news. We are overwhelmed. From our devices give us feeds of events happening in various parts of the world. And on top of that, we are socially expected to be up to date. If we aren't aware of current affairs, we fear that people will think that we are incompetent or at least that we, will, we are not respectable. So because of this, we get so caught in chasing after outer news that we completely lose track of our inner news. We have outer awareness, but inner blindness. What does inner blindness mean? Or what does inner awareness mean? What do we mean by inner news? Inner news broadly means three things. Firstly, while we go through life and we respond to various situations, we observe what things disturb us and what don't. By that, we can understand. These are my emotional wounds and these are my emotional strengths. We all, we sometimes get so caught in reacting to events that we don't even actually ponder those, our reactions or contemplate what those reactions might be telling, might be capable of telling us about ourselves. So we understand our emotional health by being aware of our inner world. So that is one set of inner news. Another is, inner news also means that while we are doing things, we notice consciously what we do well and what things we would do well to leave alone. And thereby we can understand our abilities and our inabilities. Sometimes when we are too caught in outer news, in chasing news, then our responsibilities are basically things that we just get, want to get over with so that we can get on to other and more interesting things, supposedly more interesting things. But by that obsession, that infatuation, we fail to learn what the school of life can teach us about ourselves, about our abil abilities and inabilities. And beyond that, we can also understand that we can observe that there are times when, okay, this is my situation and this is my reaction, my emotion. But I am different from this. There will be times when we can get this insight that I exist above the drama of the world and above the drama of my mind. Thus we understand ourselves as conscious observers, as spiritual beings, different from our body and mind. And in this way, we can gain much better self-understanding so what is the use of inner news? It is we understand ourselves so that we can use ourselves fully. After all, we are our first and foremost resource. We need to understand our strengths, weaknesses. And that understanding comes by being in tune to inner news. And then we can do justice to our potentials materially and spiritually. So if you reflect, what will be more empowering? You know, becoming a better person. That means if we understand our strengths and weaknesses and utilize our strengths, manage our weaknesses, we can become a better person. And we can influence others much more by becoming a better person than by appearing to be a better informed person, which is what we will get by seeking outer news. So seeking outer news will make us a better informed person. Seeking inner news will make us a better person. A person more in command of their own resources and a person more focused 
more resourceful more effective no wonder the bhagavad gita recommends vivikta desha sevitvam aratir jana samsadi in 1311 what it states is that we need to distance ourselves from the ways of the world and become more introspective that's how we all can gain better inner news and that is what we all can learn maybe we need to all decrease the time on outer news and invest that save time on seeking inner news thank you